Okay, hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I'm talking to you about my 10 favorite conversion rate optimization strategies for your website. Are you ready? Let's dive into it. Okay, so my first conversion rate optimization strategy is that you've got to take the time to review your analytics. Google Analytics has a world of information for you so that you can go in and really learn who your demographic is, what their interests are, and you can better refine your website for that. But also there's reports for your top exit pages or the pages that people are leaving the most on your website. The pages with your highest bounce rate or the page which is basically somebody comes to a page and leaves immediately. And there's also even a, a funnel report that's gonna show you where the highest drop-offs are on your website when people go through the checkout process. So as your first step, make sure you take the time to dive into your Google Analytics and really understand what people are doing on your site. My second item is keep a simple color scheme. This isn't the old days when everybody wanted flash and a bunch of different colors on your website. Now, what consumers really like is to have a basic color scheme so that they can understand the text and the messaging on the page and get a clear view of the images and things like that. So, so don't go too over the top. Keep it basic, keep it clean. So my third item for you today is make sure that you have one clear call to action on the page that stands out more than anything else. So you've got your basic color scheme, but you wanna make sure that your call to action stands out and it's much brighter than anything else on the page, okay? So that's 101. In addition to that, you can also have secondary calls to action that are lighter colors that are downplayed, right? So make sure that you keep that in mind when you're designing your website. Item number four is make sure that you're keeping buttons above the fold on both mobile and desktop. On a desktop website, if somebody has to scroll down in order to complete that call to action, then you're definitely going to be losing visitors. Now on the mobile side, people like to have tap targets right towards the top of the page. What we've done a lot is gone in and then put the three most important things that a user could want on a mobile site towards the top of the page, and that's resulted in massive increases in conversion rates. So make sure you're taking the time to do that for your website as well. If you're a large directory website or a large e-commerce website, this can also work very well when people click those tap targets and it opens up secondary navigation so that they can get deeper into the pages on your site. Okay, item number five is test your copy. I can't tell you how many people don't take the time to do this. Recently, we changed the copy on a homepage and saw an increase in conversions of 30% just by a basic text change. So make sure you're taking the time to test your copy on a regular basis. Item number six, try a timer on your website. Have you ever seen that before on a site like Ticketmaster or a large e-commerce site that's having a sale on Black Friday or maybe a pop-up that comes up and it's got some information about an event and a countdown? Timers really work. If you use these, it creates a sense of urgency inside of the user and they're gonna want to sign up for your product. Okay, item number seven is location detection. Take the time to detect where your users are coming from and serve them landing pages that are specific to their location. You'll see a big jump in conversion rates. We've done this for a lot of different websites and it absolutely works. Okay, item number eight is optimize your checkout process. What you wanna do is ask for the easiest information first from the user so that they don't bounce off of that checkout process. Instead, they start offering you information and get more invested inside of the checkout. So that would be the first step, but also you wanna reduce fields. Uh, you wanna make sure that your checkout process works really well on mobile. I can't tell you how many people just don't take the time to optimize their checkout process for mobile and they're leaving a lot of uh, money on the table potentially. Make sure you're using third-party widgets such as check out with PayPal, um, you know, log in with Google, you know, log in with Facebook so that you can get that information quicker and get people through this process. And then kind of the last thing that I, I love to recommend to clients that always works is have an upsell inside of your checkout process and test that and see if, if you're an e-commerce site, if you can get them to buy more products because you've got a specific sale on an on a item that's very similar to what they're buying. And then another thing that works very well is after the conversions happen in the checkout process, 
offering another uh, item that's potentially on sale on your website. So take the time to really dial in your checkout process. It's such an important part of conversion rate optimization and make sure you're also setting up steps um, inside of your funnel, inside of Google Analytics so that you can see the drop off. Okay, item number nine, add pictures of real people and test images. When we added pictures of specific people at a company to a landing page, we saw a jump in conversions of 46%. And I mean, think about that from your own perspective, right? You do a search or something and you come to a landing page and you see real people who work at a company, you feel like, oh, okay, I, I learned who these people are. There's real people who work here. I would potentially wanna work with those people. So that actually works really well. And I think you know more than half of the web really isn't taking advantage of this. And then in addition to this, make sure that you're split testing and, and trying different pictures because one picture can result in a 10, 20% uh, higher conversion rate compared to another picture. So it's a really important thing that you wanna make sure you do. Okay, so my last item for you today is make sure you're installing a heat map on your website. Heat map's gonna give you a lot of great information, what people are clicking on, what they're not clicking on. And in addition to a heat map, it's always good to look at your in-page analytics report inside of Google Analytics, because that's gonna tell you actually what the exact click-through rate was on certain buttons. One more thing to keep in mind, make sure whatever tool you're using has um, the ability to split between mobile and desktop, and it's not just bunching that all together in one, because that can kind of result in some, some misinformation. Okay, so that's it for today. Those were my 10 things for conversion rate optimization. See you next time on the next Ignite Visibility University. Have a great day.